Welcome back, everybody. I'm APH, and I hope you are all having an amazing and safe day. Now, just kind of a recap of the last episode is Maple Grove and the House of H did an amazing job in this corner. They did phenomenal, both clearing out the trees as well as building sections of the aqueduct. Now, it looks pretty good. For those of you who watched the time lapse, at some point in time, I did decide it was the best idea to break away this district on its own, and I expanded out some trees because, well... The trees we had over here just didn't last very long. For this up here, Maple Grove only has a little bit left to go before they're out of room. As for over here, I did enable the monuments to start building and the Flame of Truth is actually just about done. It's actually quite a ways. So that should finish this episode. Now the labor monuments are a little bit further away as lumber's a little bit of an issue over here. We do have some plans for kind of in here because we're going to start routing power today. So that's going to be a thing as well as I wanted to get rid of this. And I think I'm going to do it at the end of the episode instead of the beginning as I am. I am live right now. So water is flowing. So we're not we're not like we have been where we're paused. And that brings us to right here. I did run the power this way so that I could run it down the stairs. And that's going to be for this episode because we're going to start running power for where the carousel is down here. And that brings us up here to Ren, where they did an amazing job finishing up this section. It's all ready to go. And we're probably gonna add in some farms in this episode, just kind of uh, getting this area ready to be self-sufficient. Uh, that brings us over to Wall. Now, they are getting close to the end here as they're getting a little closer. And we're gonna have to move the, the district building at some point in time today, as well as we're gonna have to make some adjustments because I believe food is an issue. But they did get the platform that we wanted done and they started working on this section of Levy. So the hope is maybe not this episode, maybe not the next, but maybe the one after this will be all closed off so that we have wheat fields. And what we'll do is wheat fields over here and then over here with this one, maybe we'll do carrots in this section and potatoes up in this section. And then they'll they'll share wheat fields down here. Look at that. The water's going up. That looks uh, that looks pretty phenomenal. I'm I'm on one time speed and I am getting to a point where I can only play on two times speed. I can't play on three times speed anymore. Just kind of a heads up. I think it's a lot of moving parts are kind of bogging the, the game down. And that brings us down to here. Now, this is uh, pretty basic. We have some things that we're going to uh, change around this episode, but we did get the, the farm done. We got our, our gathering flags. We got our, our water dump was already done. I was going to say we got that done. We got our houses and our our actual our water storage and all of our breeding pots, as well as we got our builder and our, our lumber mill and our lumber. So this area looks pretty good, and we're going to get another water dump here to extend our forests because, as you can see, there's not a whole lot of grown trees over here and for some odd reason this beaver is not going and getting that i'll have to check and make sure that it's labeled because I'll, I'll notice that occasionally where i just won't have tagged a tree and that brings us back to the start now as i said this area right here oh we're ready to drop that down we're gonna detonate that uh in a most spectacular uh show of strength and we're gonna drop a road down here so we can remove these and we might as well mark them over here and we'll do we'll do like all of those and hopefully they can get over here i don't think they're going to but it's at least worth a shot and that brings us to right here now we do need to remove some things for the future for for the actual for the power side of the aqueducts so we're gonna go ahead and remove this right here. Yeah, something very simple like that. And for for this district, I don't think we're going to do a whole lot this episode as we're going to let them have a day of rest after after a very busy day. And for those of you that had a keen eye in the last episode, you would have noticed that these water pumps had people standing at them for like half the episode and well it took me half the the episode to realize that that was a fail so not the not my my best moment but a kind of comedic moment that brings us back to the house of h now for the walkway as we're getting ready to move all this and what do we have we have only three unemployed people so we can't get this hired up yet but what we can do is we can start getting our walkway from here over to here and then piped over as we're going to remove this whole entire section, hopefully in the next episode. That would be my hope. So let's do a walkway across, another walkway, and well, I guess a platform, and then that should bring us up to the right level. And so we'll get that building and let's break our path. Uh, as soon as I can click it, let's break our path right there and let's break our path right here and right here. 
So anybody who ever wants to do a major construction, here's what you do to get your beavers to do it. Uh, you you break your paths so they can't go anywhere. Because this right here is the end of where they can construct, and right here is the end of where they construct. That means they have to focus on this area. That is my tip of the day. And so we're going to bring this over. Yeah, we're going to bring this over to right here. And we're going to create a... A road over this way and this will allow us to have a walkway across we might do the same thing here yeah let's let's do that let's do a walkway right here and we'll do oh that was the wrong one let's let's try that again i can't believe i just placed a one high instead of a two high something like that that will get us our walkways across and then i did delete out the rest of these levies so we could get it very uniform looking so that's that's all set. I do want them con to construct that this episode. And from there, it brings us over here. Now, these have been unused for quite some time. So let's get rid of these in, in preparation for our aqueducts. And let's get rid of uh, these... And I don't think we need to get rid of those yet. We still have beavers running around. I think that they're still... Oh, they're still gears. So we do have some opportunity yet to, to empty that. So we're going to try to use those gears before we actually take it down, which is actually good because we have plans for... We have plans to build two shredders in here in the future. And as long as as long as long we've got the gears, I guess let's do it. Let's let's place that out. So we need some, some one highs right here. And we're going to go uh, the three highs to bring us up to the level and then we need to leave a walkway like we did on the other one and then we're going to go with some storage thankfully i already broke the the path so that's okay so we're going to go storage 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 and storage and this is going to be a little funkier than the last one because this is going to be a combination of gears and metal so we're going to do two gear workshops and we're going to do it a little bit funky part of me says to actually not do it the way i want to yeah let's let's do this and this yeah that looks right and then for the metal itself we're going to put the shredder which the shredder takes a lot of horsepower but we're going to place it right here and right here and once these are built then we can set these up for gears and that will help move them as well and this can be their build project for today it's just this section right here as as we put a kibosh on them doing this section and then we'll we'll kind of do a once they get this done, then we'll allow them to go back as well as once they get these done. Oh man, speak about done. They're just about to finish the labor monument. And for this, they only have a few more to get the flame of progress done. So we're gonna see those done this episode. And speaking of that, let's let's get rid of these two now since we've got this one over here. And let's send some planks over as i believe our planks are in really good shape over here let's kind of add a trade route over here for planks uh, so something real simple like that that should help as this area the only place that they're sending planks is up here which they're not using them at the moment and down here and i don't believe they're using them at the moment other than the fact that we will need a staircase right here but at the same time that we need a staircase right there we already have a an actual plank factory a lumber mill right there so so I don't think that's a big issue. Uh, we could probably send some planks from over here too. Yeah, we've got 13. So let's let's do that as well. Let's make sure we don't already have it. Yeah, we're sending them to Ren. And I don't, as I said, I don't think Ren's going to need them. So let's send planks over to the House of H. And the hope is, is that we can get rid of this. Now, speaking of getting rid of things, as we get rid of our roofs, we're going to need roofs over here. And I'm not sure how I feel about this, but we'll add them right there. And then we'll put in our, our decor. I want to incorporate beavers over here, but I'm not very sure how we're going to do it. We might do it like right here. Let's see if we can find it. Maybe we'll do beavers right here and right here. That might be a, a good spot where let's let's find them real quick. Uh, where we place beavers facing out that way. Yeah, I think that that actually will look pretty nice. Uh, you guys let me know down in the comment what you think of of beavers being there with the, the actual rain block right here the awning so it, it's one of those episodes where i just cannot speak today just to let you guys know so yeah just let me know what you guys think of our plans for this area is i'm thinking it's gonna look really nice all right back over to over here now we are getting power 
piped down and we need a power over here. And my initial thought was to run power. Let's actually start running it as I talk. Uh, so we're going to have to run it on, on platforms. So my initial thought was to run it over to here, run it through the building and then connect it over here somehow. And then I got to thinking, maybe we run it this way and then we connect it right here with just a little bit of a bend here so something like this and like this with it connected here and here and connected there now i'm not going to subject you guys to watching the rest of that but it's just going to magically happen so yeah uh that's that's about what those plans look like. We'll revisit this as it gets finished because I, I think that that looks really good. I love the way they did power in this game. I don't care for power poles and we have them everywhere where I live. So yeah, that's the thing. That brings us over here. Now I did unpause some of the sections over here. No, I did not. Okay, I thought I unpaused them, but that's okay. It actually works better if I didn't unpause them. So let's bring some roads out and we'll just go, I don't know. We'll go, we'll go something out like that and then we're going to leave a walkway right there so that we can get a small warehouse right here with a farm on top. Now, we don't want to connect this as we don't want them to fill it with miscellaneous garbage. And we'll go like that and, and like that. And I think this will be our potatoes. No, this will be our carrots. And so we're going to go ahead and just plant them right up to this edge, something basic like that. And we'll include that. And then we're going to do the same thing up here for potatoes. And I do believe we're going to have to bring a few people up here. Can't place it there because it wouldn't give them a walkway, but I could place it there. And with that, we can again, set that up, bring our, our actual walkway and we should be good to go. Something like that. Yeah, I think that we're good there and then we'll we'll make this one potatoes and that kind of gets us in a spot where where this area at least for a while is kind of set until we get this section over here done now they are going to start collecting these trees uh taking a quick look no unemployed beef so we do need to transfer some people over and that brings us to what we're doing over here now they are progressing over here which is a very good thing but for right here, we're going to want to raise this level as well. And we're going to want to bring it over to this edge, something like that. And we do want, I had to pause these because our water got so low. I also had to pause the breeding pots because we got it so many beavers. Who would have knew? Uh, now this right here, it's getting red, but it's not red yet. So we don't need to move it quite yet. But for up here, I'm thinking to help things. We do want a a hauling post we'll put it right there with a second builder right here that will allow them to go a little bit quicker up here now i don't want to do anything with the houses quite yet i'm not ready for that and that brings us to over here now this area right here you can see there's no uh, potatoes ready and i like to have a big enough area that they can't completely harvest it so let's extend this out a little by removing a few of these trees it's actually kind of really sad uh, that's all I can say about it, but I'm thinking that much and then we'll we'll get potatoes in that area for the future as well. That brings us over to over here. Now they have finished all of the, they built the walkway up. So we're ready to clear out this area and we'll let them just kind of do their clearing. And then we'll, we'll go about, uh, once they've done that, we'll go around putting dynamite up there. And these beavers are building over here. That's, they crack me up. And looking here, it looks like the extent of our build is over here. So let's get, let's get another forester over here for the future. Uh, probably right there. Yeah, that looks good. And then we'll, we'll plan a few lumberjacks over here. We'll probably go two on this side and two on this side, but we're just going to clear that so that they don't fill in. But until these are ready, which I mean, they're 33, 31%. So they're going to be a while before they're ready. So I don't necessarily want to, to do that now. Now, as for these, we've got seven unemployed over here. Let's pause these until we're ready. And for right here, we only have 54 food and most of it is berries and that scares me. So let's get a farmhouse right here and we're going to go ahead and prioritize that up so that it gets built relatively quickly. Oh, look at this. All of our monuments are done. That is super amazing that they're all done. So we are going to start the deconstruction. This is actually a really sad and very epic day. So let's take a look. We have 60 in the barracks and we have 98 worth of homes over here so we've got 77 beavers so we have enough 
actual room here that we can get rid of these without having any homeless. That's really good. That's that's the next step there. We're going to go ahead and I'm not going to subject you to me filling this in, but that's going to magically be filled in so they can start building that. And I think I'm going to bring you guys back when the drought starts itself just to kind of get a good look at how it how it's going. So the drought's just about to start and I wanted to bring you back just a moment early so you could see this. The water got right up to this edge. I actually had to open up the floodgate to let water out. I'm really happy I didn't close this up. So we're going to leave this for a few episodes as we bring out this section. And what's going to have to happen is this section is going to have to close up over here to create the high point before we get the, the low point exposed there. Otherwise, we're going to get water going over the actual aqueduct. And I'm I'm not a very, I wouldn't be very happy about that because I would actually cover in all of this area that we worked hard for. And then I had kind of a, a moment where I have autosaves turned off because it's a little bit better on performance. And I kind of wish that I had it turned on uh, because I went to get rid of the awnings and I uh, got rid of several layers of the actual storage. So rip gears and the drought started its 20 days. Uh, so this is not a bad drought. And with that, I will finish getting rid of this. Thankfully, this walkway had already finished at the time, but I wanted to get rid of this on camera. So I feel a little bit bad. And what I did is this that I just clicked like that and I thought that I had the awning, but in fact, I had it underneath. These are all going to go away now since we, we are for sure the walkway will work. I was going to leave it until I was uh, sure that the walkway would work, but now that we know it works, we're good to go. And that brings us to there. We can get rid of these and we can get rid of those and I'll start extending out the levees a little bit here. I don't want to do it until I'm ready as there's a little bit of work. What is this? Not connected to a district. Oh, no. oh, I got a little worried there. It's not connected because I deleted the road here. That's fine. So that will reconnect it. Yeah, that reconnected it. So we're good. Yeah, just so you guys can see, the route itself goes down to about here. And so we're still good in yellow. It still loops this way and is still good and colorful. It still loops this way as far as it needs to go. And then on this side over here... We have the road cut, so you're not going to see it over here. And as for the rest, I mean, we did a good job over here getting all of our, our actual power connectors going. So that's all routed for when we start our carousel. And I'm really hoping that in the next episode, maybe two, this carousel will be the first. Because I think that they've, they've earned it. Uh, so these logs are about full, so I'm about to switch it over to over to Ren so they can use those logs to do the construction while they kind of... And then in the next episode, we'll look at moving the district house. For right now, it's not a big issue as they've got a lot of work ahead of them. And then over here, they're doing a good job filling in this area. The farm is closed. I haven't had anybody die yet, but food is very, very low. It's actually really scaring me. So we're just going to keep an eye on it. And the moment... We hit, oh, we hit our red line. So I'm not going to subject you guys to me moving this off or on camera, but it's going to move to to right here. But it's going to involve me sending people to another district, uh, then moving it and then send everybody back. So I'm not going to do that with you guys watching because that will take like five minutes and I don't want to subject you guys to that. And that brings us to here. I didn't think they were going to get all this done, but hey. Uh, we need to do something with water just to get it so it's it's fertile. And we're going to do something similar to what we did up in Ren where we do the temple, probably the temple on that side with the walkway this way. And then on this side, a fireplace, ah, not that, a rooftop terrace on this side maybe. It's going to be a little bit tight. Uh, it's a little bit smaller of an area, so it's going to be a little bit tight, but we're going to go, yeah, probably something like that for the, the actual fire and something a real simple on this side, something like this for the rooftop terrace. I think that that will draw this in. And then I haven't quite decided where the potato, the grill is going to go yet, but it's going to go away. Just know that. And we'll, we'll put that up and we'll do the same here where we place that rooftop terrace there. That will kind of bring this one together. And, and I still have uh, the sad thing about me bringing this one together is this area will be brought together before the area of wall, which which is a little bit sad. And I'm not sure that I need to do more than one spot. So we can probably bring the road across. 
Yeah, let's do the road that way, and we'll do the water dump on the very end right here. So yeah, we'll get an explosive right here. We'll place the water dump there. It looks like uh, Padnos is coming over to build our temple. They're like, that's so important. We're going to go over and build that for you. So thank you, Padnos. And with that, I'd, I'd like to thank you guys for watching, and we're going to go into a time lapse of of them building this as well as uh, District, I believe it's 13. Yeah, District 13 working on this section. Thank you guys. We'll see you in the next episode.